feels like automotive technology is advancing incrementally every single day. Heck, even small parts like these wheel weights have seen a ton of advancements in recent years. Let's talk about those advancements next. Wheel weights have been around for nearly 100 years, starting as clip-on weights in the early 1930s and evolving to adhesive weights in the 1970s. However, recent wheel weight technological advancements have been less about the way they attach and more about improving performance and compliance with environmental regulations. Wheel weights have been traditionally made with high-density lead because it's cheaper, easy to manufacture, and install. However, there are environmental concerns with lead weights, so much so that some government agencies have moved to ban wheel weights made with lead, and there's nine states that have lead laws. In response, manufacturers had to find an alternative for lead weights, like zinc and steel. The good news about zinc is that it can be molded just like lead wheel weights, just at a larger size. As for steel weights, they are a bit higher in density than zinc, but are not resistant to corrosion, meaning you'll have to ensure the entire weight is coated to avoid corrosion from the elements. The problem with steel is it isn't as soft or malleable as zinc or lead weights and can be more expensive to make. Manufacturers responded to these concerns by covering a steel wheel weight in a rugged plastic shell. The shell not only improves corrosion resistance, but it enables easy installation thanks to its soft outer shell. With a solution like steel weights, shops in non-lead states can feel comfortable knowing they aren't using a banned substance. Adhesive wheel weights have also gone through some technological advancements recently, including an increased focus on ensuring they are provided at various performance and tolerance levels. Wider bonding range is one major advancement, increasing adhesive tolerances in extreme weather applications. This bonding not only supports adhesion in sub-freezing temperatures, but it can also handle temperatures exceeding 200 degrees Fahrenheit. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Grass Studio at Babcox Media. See you next time.